Does this count as false advertising? I thought that B760 mover boards are supposed to be cheap, yet here is a Asus with the ROG Strix B760A gaming Wi-Fi for a whopping $225. Now, in theory, the price could be taken down even further by going with the DDR4 version, but its availability right now is a bit... Meh. But okay, Asus, let's play along. What exactly did you do to try and justify that price? Well, starting off with CPU power, here we have a mere 12 plus 1 power phases. That combined with just the 8 pin and 4 pin power connectors sure isn't a lot, but at the same time it's still more than enough for most people and it really won't affect you unless you're doing some hardcore overclocking. And pretty much the same thing can be said about a PC expansion which is again just fine for most people. It does have a nice and future proof PC Gen 5 16x slot, another 16x slot that's actually just for Gen 3 lanes and to round things off two adorable little 1x slots as well both at Gen 3. In storage Wise, it's also fairly decent, with three M2 slots, all of them being Gen 4 and 4 set of connectors. And then moving right back around to the rear I.O. Oh, Asus, that's cute, you put some little like fancy pixel art drawings on the back, even though no one will be able to see it because, you know, it's facing the back. But hey, at least the wall behind your PC will have something nice to look at, I guess. And the IO itself is also decent with seven USB Type-A ports, which definitely isn't the most in the world, but isn't the least either. Though, unfortunately, only three of them are USB Gen 3 or faster. Now, that is somewhat balanced out by this motherboard having two USB Type-C connectors, one of them being 20 gig and the other one being 5 gig, and being awkwardly jammed into the place where the audio SPDIF connector would usually go. So yeah, that's completely missing, which is a shame, but at least you get the full array of five audio jacks, which in today's world, like politicians who know what they're doing, or waking up with a job if you work in the gaming industry, can't be taken for granted. Finishing off our tour of the rear I.O., we have 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E, and both HDMI and DisplayPort for integrated graphics, which is pretty nice if you need it for troubleshooting purposes, or if you're just one of those people who's forced to run on just an iGPU. And in that case, you have my sympathies. Meaning that overall, it is a pretty hard sell at its current price, especially seeing how many equally good and much cheaper B760 mobile boards are currently on the market. But hey, if you really just want that white slash silvery aesthetic that this thing has going on, an argument could still be made for it. So if you still want to go for it, then Amazon and Newegg links to it will be up in the icons and down in the video description below, where you also find our Patreon, which is a great deal every single time. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronjak, Balash Volker, not a pseudonym, make some Nursery, Allcraft, Lansby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.